Okay, I know I look crazy. I look super oily. My hair is all over my head. I've been at work since 11 o'clock this morning and it's about to be like 12 o'clock tonight and I gotta be back up for uh, like 5.45. But anyways, I cannot sleep so I, re I decided to record a video. Don't pay attention to these third eyes on my face. It's around that time. Yeah, it's around that time. So let's get right into it. Y'all know I like to try out stuff. Okay, everybody's ranting and raving about this um elastic band method. Okay, so we fixing to try it together and see what the hype is about. Okay, people, these gurus are getting on here with this elastic band, baby. They make it seem like all you gotta do is put your wig on with the elastic band. It's gonna look nice. No sew, no glue, no gel. That's what they be putting in the camping, okay? So, you know, they make everybody like, wow, then you click on their video and all they're doing is just putting, the, setting the wig on their head. That don't seem safe, okay? I guess that's why a lot of people out here losing their wigs nowadays because they doing that, but I don't know. We're gonna try. We're gonna give it a good go. It seems like every time I do videos like this, people always say, I'm doing something wrong, but I'm doing it like a normal person would, okay? I'm actually testing it out and letting y'all know how a normal person would do it. Do y'all understand it? So, anyways, y'all don't know I'm put have to put my disclaimer in there, whatever. If you don't want to watch it, please click off. I ain't got time for the comments. So, anyway, y'all, I got my elastic. I don't know what this is. I think that's like, I don't know what that is. Something got on my elastic. But anyway, got my elastic band. I have some scissors and I also have thread and a needle. This is just regular nylon thread and a needle. Okay. So I also have my wig that I'm going to be doing with. I'm going to be doing it with a curly wig. I just got it kind of pent up. Now I did glue this wig down. Um, sorry, y'all. It's some on my piercing. What? I don't know. But anyways, I did initially glue this wig down. That's why it's kind of looking like that. But you know what? You know, I've been reading y'all comments stuff. A lot of y'all said I'm tired of the sewing. I mean, I'm tired of the glue. I'm tired of the tape. I'm tired of the guys to be glue. So, y'all, we fit to try this wonderful method. Then it, all the gurus make it seem so easy and just so, you know, so we fit to try it. I personally have never tried this method because of simple fact, I need security with my wigs. I mean, it's not like I'm out here running marathons or you know, doing something strenuous, but still, I need security. The wind blows too hard, I need to know this baby's still on. Like this, look, this ain't going nowhere, okay? So, yeah. Um, hold on. Yeah. Just seemed like as soon as I press record, people want to call and text and blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, now, one thing that I have been looking at in some of the videos, they do say you need to cut, like, your ear tabs kind of off. Like, your ear tabs, and this wig ain't all the way down, y'all, so that's why it's looking crazy. But they say your ear tabs, you need to kind of cut them a little short. That's what I've seen on some videos. Everybody's doing it different, okay? So, I'm, I'm going to do it like that. So, what I did was my ear tabs were a little bit longer than that. So, instead of my ear tabs being, like, longer to reach, like, down here or, like, you know, because mostly, most of the time when I put ear tabs down, I'll, like, have it, like, here. And then I'll leave, like, my little side burn out and then put the rest behind my ear. That's what I usually do. But with the um, elastic band method, I don't think that that will work. I think the ear tabs will just sit there like weird because the elastic band is going to kind of be pulling backwards like that. So I don't think that it would be right. So what I did was I didn't cut, like I just cut the ear tabs off to where like maybe they stopped to like, I, yeah, this look ratchet. Trust me, I already know. I don't really care what the size looks like. But I just cut it off to like there, okay, to where they wouldn't come all the way down, if that makes any sense. So that's what, that's why my ear tabs kind of look like that okay because i did like i said i cut them to like here or whatever so that's what some of the people say you got to cut your ear tabs a certain way when you add the elastic band so this what we gonna do okay and i know this is kind of crooked sorry y'all i got it on a um a tripod today and i hate having it on this tripod but yeah so anyways i'm gonna take this Okay, now you're supposed to measure it ear to ear, okay, and if you don't measure it right and you make it too small, it could cause attention headaches. Like they, I've been reading, I mean, not reading, listening to most of the videos, people say be really, really careful how you do it. So I probably should go underneath this week. So I'm going to do it from ear to ear. Let's see. Let's see. This is from one ear to other. And when you do this, you want to stretch it, okay? Um, You want to stretch it a bit. 
to go from ear to ear. So, let's see, let's let it go a little bit. I think that that feels pretty comfortable. Let's see. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't want to cut it too small. Let's see, I stretched it. It feels pretty comfy. Maybe I should put it up a little bit. Probably start from, maybe I should start from my ear tabs. Let's see. Let's start from the ear tab part instead of like the nape, nape area. Like I said, we're doing this together. Okay. <laughs> you trial and error. So I'm going to start from my, um, from my ear tabs and I'm going to kind of pull a little bit. That doesn't feel too, too good. Okay. So let's see. Yeah. That feels, that feels somewhat right. So I'm going to cut like right here because that that feels somewhat right to me okay and i'm gonna go back and i'm gonna measure again like ear to ear yeah that that feels okay it feels all right hopefully it's not too tight to give me a tension headache so anyways take it and now i'm gonna position the camera down so y'all can kind of see what i'm doing okay because i don't just know what i'm doing so let me pull it down a bit. And y'all know y'all always see me in my work clothes. So, anywho. Okay, now. I've been seeing people kind of add the... Oops. Y'all are a little out of frame. Okay. All kind of stuff on this table. Now, I've been seeing people kind of add the tabs like here. Like closer to their elastic band area like here. But even if they're added here, I'm thinking, how does that pull this part i don't know y'all see because me i was thinking about adding it like there that's what i was thinking about to like kind of pull the ear part and keep the frontal down because i'm thinking it will pull it forward that way but then again i don't know um i don't know so i i don't know i might just put it like instead of putting it all the way to the edge Put it like middle ish. So I'm gonna kind of, I'm gonna sew it right there. Okay, so I'm gonna take my thread and needle. And let's see how I'm gonna do it. Or do I need to sew like, probably sew it like this. Yeah, see, I'm okay. I'm just gonna sew it like this, and I'm just gonna like regularly sew it. And with the sewing, don't feel like anything is permanent because you can always cut this part out and just start over if it's too small or too big or you need to alter it. Don't feel like anything is permanent, just cut it out, it's not a big deal. So, this is all I'm doing. now i'm not gonna make too many stitches or anything because of the simple fact just in case you know this isn't the right size or whatever the case may be or i have to cut it out you know i'm not gonna make too many stitches so i'm gonna go on the other side right and i'm just gonna do the same thing guys i'm gonna place it in the same place like halfway okay it's gonna be just like this all right Lord, I hope this work, y'all. Let me find out it really worked. And these girls really ain't out here fake. Okay. So, there we go. Got it all attached. And y'all know I'm finna put this on to see, like, how, how it is and how it goes. I'll see y'all in the next clip. All right. Hey, y'all. I'm back looking very crazy, okay? I do have on two wig caps, and I really didn't realize I had on two wig caps. 
until I just took my other wig off. And the wig that I um, had on, it was secured by tape. So I just took that off, okay? Added a little makeup to my hairline before y'all get back to asking me, oh my God, why is her hairline a different color? She has a disease. So yeah, I added some makeup to kind of disguise that so I wouldn't get comments like that. Added a little bit, not much. And it's rubbing off because I'm putting these caps on. So anyway, you don't have to use two caps. I just had two caps on at first. Why I had two caps on, I have no idea. Like I said, I didn't even know I had two caps on. So I'm just adding a little foundation around my hairline. Like I said, so y'all can leave me the hell alone. And so it can save me from answering the same questions over and over again. So, yeah, I'm just adding a little makeup around there. Okay. Remember that I'm about. So, anyways, I'm about to go ahead and put this wig on, okay? I don't know, I look crazy. Like I said, been up all day. So, I got my elastic band. Okay. So, we're just going to put it on. I wonder how you put this on. Like, which... What do you do? Do you just like take this? Okay. I've been seeing them take this part and what you put this part in the back of your head and then you put that part in the back of your head. And, okay. No. <laughs> okay. So, all right. Put that part in the back of your head. See, cause see, they see how that part is flipping up. That's why I kind of wanted to put that um uh, that elastic band. Oh well. Oh okay. Well, I put it behind my ear. It's still kind of that flap. It's still kind of like flapping up. I don't really like that. Okay, so this on this side. Like I told y'all, I did cut my flaps a bit. Yeah, I don't like the way it's flapping up like that. It looks dumb, flapping up like that. So make sure this band is, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, yeah, this, that looks dumb. I guess if you don't plan on wearing like your frontals in like a up, like any kind of updo, this would definitely work. Okay, and let me unclip this wig. But it's laying, I, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't get me to lie. Okay. So, I guess it's laying pretty okay. It feels pretty secure. It already feel like I'm, think, I'm about to get a tension headache, though. Like, being really, really serious. And I just put it on. I got all kind of stuff in this hair. It feels like my head is already about to start hurting. So. <coughs> of course, this hair ain't prepped or nothing, but. I'll have to come back to y'all once I manipulate this hair, wet it down, put some serums in it and everything. Okay, it's hot in here. Let me take this jacket off. It's really hot. Then when you're moving around, it doesn't make it any better. Okay. So let me pull the back. The back of it. I just don't know. Yeah, I'm trying to look in the mirror so I can get the hard and everything right I just don't know this looks so wiggy maybe it's just this particular wig that's looking like this this is the VIP this is this is the VIP beauty hair okay so 
yeah like i said i have to manipulate this hair and everything like that i'm gonna go ahead and tell you all okay this is um i mean i think this method is i think this method is okay okay now like i said i need to go ahead and while i'm talking to y'all probably manipulate this hair I can say that I think that this method is pretty okay. And I ain't gonna just manipulate this whole thing like on camera. But um I think this method is okay. Now my only thing about this method is it feels okay. I just feel like during the day, you're going to, like, continuously, like, tug at this. Like, you see, I think all day I'm going to continuously, like, snag and tug at this unit to, like, pull it down. I feel like that time will be all day. But as for right now, like, it feels more secure than I thought it would. But it's definitely, definitely this uh, elastic band being on the back of my neck like that. I mean, on the back of my, the, the nape of my head like that is, it definitely is not very comfortable. Um, I think it's okay. Now, this type of, I mean, this type of method would definitely be for someone who's not trying to do anything too strenuous. Now, if you play any kind of sport, so you're going to be in some extreme weather conditions or something, I don't know if I would recommend this method. I mean, it feels kind of secure, but I don't know. And then if you want to, like, wear your hair up, this is no, no, no. This is not the method for you, okay? If you want to wear your hair up and stuff like that, you definitely don't want want to um use this method. But as you all can see, that I'm coming through this curly hair, and I had this curly hair up in this, like, back in a ball. So it's, like, all tangled together right now. But as y'all can see, I'm coming through it. I mean, it's sliding back a bit, but it's not sliding back too much, you know. I, of course, I would have to make it look less wiggy, you know, put a little baby hairs down and alter this part a bit. But other than that, I really think it's okay. Like, okay, let's see. I'm pulling on this stuff. I mean, it's moving a bit, but it's it feels pretty secure. I'm not even going to lie. It feels pretty secure. Like, I think that... I could wear this all day to work and I would probably have to tug it a little bit. It's kind of like it's equivalent to having a closure wig on and not having your closure wig like sewn down or uh, glued down or taped down where you kind of have to kind of every once in a, in a while pull it up a bit. That's kind of how it feels. But other than that, this might be the new method. Okay. I like it. I think I like it. But like I said, you definitely don't want to like the wind to blow too hard because of these side pieces. Now, I don't know. The whole point to this method is to not sew it down or to not glue. I mean, to not glue it down, to not tape it down. But I don't know because me, I ain't going to lie to y'all. I might just add something to my side pieces just a little bit on my sides to make my sides stay down. You know, so that I can like wear behind my ears and things like that. So I might add a little glue or something to the sides because that's going to bother me. Okay. Like when I put my hair back and stuff, the lace lifting is going to bother me. Now, if you, you, I, I guess you could cut a little bit more of your side tabs off. If you would want to, you could cut a little bit more off. But um, I'm not going to cut any more off. I just may lay it down with a little glue or a little tape or, or something like that just to lay the side down. You know, because you like I said, if the wind blow, you know, they'll kind of, somebody will kind of sing unless you kind of got it. I guess it'll work. Let's see if we can camouflage it. If you put it down somewhat like a bang, I mean like a side piece, maybe, but you can still kind of see it poking out. But other than that, child seriously i'm gonna say that this might be the new method okay i like it now i thought it was a gimmick 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. When I see them putting their wigs on with them elastic bands, I honestly thought, like, come on now, that does not hold your wig. And a lot of y'all been asking me about the elastic band method. So I thought that, yeah, I'll come on camera so I can show you all, you know, what the elastic, elastic, el what the elastic band method is all about. And I'm telling y'all, I like it. Well, I didn't do did one side of my hair. This is what I mean by manipulation, y'all. You're going to wake up with a, with a mess, okay? And you're going to have to manipulate it like this, okay? So, y'all already know I got my spray bottle, serum, water, conditioner. That's it. Then you come through it. But, yeah, y'all, it's secure. I like it. Okay, now I am going to wear this particular method to work. Oh, Lord, pray for me. I, I hope I hope it stays together. You know, I'm, I'm a little nervous, but, I mean, like I said, it fits like a closure wig. I think everything is pretty much okay. I'm going to go ahead and just log off. I just kind of wanted to show you all. I think when I, like, lay it, really lay it down in the front, and like I said, add my baby hair and all that, I think it'll look really nice. Like, for real, I really do think it'll look really, really nice once I add baby hair and stuff. So, this is this side all manipulated and everything. It has to dry, and this hair gets super huge, okay? This is the VIP uh, beauty hair. So, it gets big, big, big. So, it does have to dry, but this is one side um, fully manipulated. Okay. Let's comb through it a little bit. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. Would I give this method a thumbs up or a thumbs down? I would definitely give this method a thumbs up. Like, I didn't think that it would work. You know, and maybe I'm speaking too soon because I have not worn this out the house yet or anything. But it really does feel secure. Like I said, this band, the only problem that I may have is that tension part. That's the only part because I kind of feel it now a little bit. And I think that wearing this for long periods of time, I don't know. Okay. But I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I'm going to wear it to work. And um, see how everything goes. But as far as right now, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Let me know what y'all think about this method. I know a lot of y'all say that y'all already use this method. I don't know. This part don't seem straight to me. That's why I keep snagging on it like that. But let me know what y'all think about this method. And um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I'll see y'all in my next video. Let me know what y'all think about these type of do it with me type videos. Okay. So, you know what? I'll see y'all in my next video. Peace. Okay, hey, y'all. I'm back. Okay, I know I said bye in my last clip, but I had to come back because I really wanted to test out this elastic band method. I really wanted to see if you was going to be able to, if we were going to be able to wear it like versatile, like, you know, like the gurus. <laughs> so, I really wanted to see if we would be able to do that. So, I have the hair all manipulated, okay? So, I decided to put it up in, like, this little bitty, like, ponytail in the top of my head just to do something. Now, I ain't really laid no baby hairs or anything like that. But, yeah, look. Okay, and this is the elastic band method. I do not have any type of tape, no glue, no nothing. Okay, I'm amazed. Okay, and I don't really too much get amazed at this wig stuff. But I'm amazed. Like, literally. Y'all, look. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Good. Look at this. Look. Am I one of them Instagram people yet? Would they be doing them amazing sounds like? Go, go, go. Okay. I'm just too amazed, y'all. Let me find out this fit to be my new method until my wig fall off in front of everybody. Then I'm going to go back, taking it back down. But anyway, no, it really does feel really secure. And I'm just really, really amazed. And I want to come back and I want to show y'all that you can do this type of style with the elastic band method. Like, isn't that like cool? Y'all, this may be the best learning how to tutorial ever we did together. I love doing stuff with y'all. We need to do this more often. So anyway, y'all, that's pretty much it. Tell me what y'all think about this method. I think this is so, so cool. Just let me know what y'all think about this method. Leave me some comments, okay? And I'll see you on next video. Bye.